All right, you guys. Well, I'm actually um, on my way to go get my nails done. I um, got an appointment at 10 o'clock, so I'm going to stop and get a Starbucks first. And then after that, I have a brow appointment. I'm going to get my brows waxed. I prefer to get them waxed opposed to getting them plucked because I don't like that. I, I just, I don't, it hurts. I don't know how you guys do it. So, uh, and then after that, I have to go to the bank, run a few errands. And uh, so that's what we have in store this weekend. I'm sure tonight we'll be going out with our friends. It is Thursday, Thursday. And um, tomorrow, Friday, it is supposed to rain all day. But, you know, I'm sure I'll do stuff around the house. Whatever I do, you know, you'll be with me. And then Saturday is going to be a great fun day. We're going to go to the WVU uh, Oklahoma State University game, which is at WVU, which is only two hour, two and a half hours away from here. And the reason why we're going to go to that game is because, you know, our friends Mike and Kim, the quarterback for Oklahoma State University, Mason Rudolph, is her cousin. So we wanted to be able to get an opportunity to see him in person play. And the closest game that they were playing was at WVU. So we're going to take a road trip with all of our friends and um, go to the game. So it's going to be fun. We're going to leave probably about noon. It's a 7 o'clock game. It's their homecoming. And... Um, probably going to go early and tailgate because a lot of her family and their friends will be there as well. So that's going to be a fun day on Saturday, though it's supposed to be really chilly. I think a high of 60, but by the time the game starts, probably in the 50s into the 40s. So I'm going to have to really bundle up. I have no idea what I'm going to wear, so I'm going to have to go digging through my closet. Though, thank God, it is all neat, neat and organized, so that's going to be easy to do. So... I'm going to go grab a Starbucks and get my nails done. I think I'm going to get more like a burgundy shade. So I love that color for this time of year. So we'll see what I choose. I will show you. Hi, you guys. I got my pumpkin latte. I get it light skim milk with only two pumps of pumpkin. I just don't like it too overwhelming. But I love just the hint of the pumpkin and it's perfect. So, as usual, I am early for my nail appointment, and they are not there yet. So, they have three minutes. And uh, so, I'm going to get these nails done, and then we'll head off to Alta and get my brows done. So, we'll see you in a bit. All right, you guys, I just got my nails done. So pretty. This is by OPI. I think it's been around for a while. It's called I Clove You So Much. Anyway, it's really pretty. I love it. But I can't believe I'm sitting there. I'm thinking to myself, I cannot believe I forgot to share with you guys. And those of you that follow us on Instagram have probably already know this. But I gotta put my shades on, you guys. I'm sorry. It is beautiful and sunny, but I've been sneezing every time I look at the sun. Sometimes I sneeze. I know it's odd, but I do. But anyway, I'm very excited to share with you guys. We had the most exciting weekend last weekend. My our youngest, Caitlin, got engaged. I am so thrilled. We are so happy. We absolutely love her fiance. His name is Carlos. He's in the Air Force. Let's see if I can show you guys a picture. This is their right when they got engaged. Carlos came to talk to us last week to tell us and ask us for her hand. And it um, he's just precious. I mean, he just we adore him. So uh, so we ran out and got a basket and my daughter um, our daughters Morgan and Allie We ran out and got a basket and folded up with all kinds of really neat fun stuff. She had no idea It was a surprise over at Carlos's family's home and because uh, he's leaving this week to um, go uh, to his base which is in North Dakota so it's gonna be you know she's gonna be sad and really miss him but the fun thing is we'll be planning a wedding I am so you guys have no idea how happy I am and how excited I am and um, and hopefully soon we think uh, our other daughter will be soon after her getting engaged here soon let's hope so anyway great news we are so happy and uh, I just, this is like a new phase in our life, you know, and uh, our kids are all in college, out of college. Caitlin still has to finish a little bit more school. That's why they're going to wait to get married until she gets that college degree, which we feel is so important. And so does Carlos. So uh, anyway, I'm just the happiest mommy right now. I am so, so happy. So I can't believe I took me this long to share this with you. But again, if you follow us on Instagram, I'm sure you saw her beautiful picture. Their beautiful picture. So, all right, you guys, off to the bank and a few errands. And then we're going to go get the brows done. Hi, 
you guys? Well, I went to the bank and I ran in um, to Dillard, which is a department store around here. And I tried on Berry Pop by Clinique. What do you think? You like it? I think it's really pretty. And anyway, I'm going to meet Allie for lunch. You know how our kids are when they have, um, she goes locally to a college local here. And she has a break in between and she's texting me like, oh, so would you like to go to lunch? Anyway, we're going to go off to lunch to uh, Primani. Hey guys, I'm at Ulta, so I'm getting ready to go get my brows waxed. Alright, Kate, what did we use here? We use the Maracuja oil from Tarte as a wax remover and to help calm redness and irritation. Okay. And then we use the Hello Flawless powder. That's just to kind of set the, the play stick that we used as a concealer. Okay. This is a foundation stick. It's in the shade Tea Party. Tea Party. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, of course, I love the stuff. The browsing. The browsing. Coveted browsings with the powder here and then the wax, and it mixes and it creates like a nice paste. That is perfect. This is how you get the perfect look after you get the freshly done by profession like Kate. But she won't let me get you on camera. Come on, can I do it real quick? Okay. Hey, this is Kate. She's so Hi, guys. cute. Come see so me. come see her, Alta in Borman, Ohio. Thank you, Kate. All right, you guys, we're going to get ready to head out here in a bit. I have no idea what we're doing tonight, but something with friends. Oh, look, these curls. I don't know what the heck this curly hair is doing today. But I give it a try, and I, 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 who knows, whatever. Anyway, I thought I'd show you. Gosh, we're starting to lose a lot of our leaves. It's really looking like fall here. Look at this, you guys starting to look a little sparse. The leaves are falling. Got it. A lot has changed in two weeks. I mean, gosh, it was just starting. The leaves were just starting to change two weeks ago when I did my last vlog. I moved my topiary over here. The stand that I had it in, I don't know, it's starting to fall a few times, so I just moved it to here. We have acorns that keep falling from the trees, you guys, and then they hit um, like our chiminea and they'll hit our grill. And it sounds like someone's like shooting at us. It's crazy. I mean, we live in a very safe, safe, safe town, but it just really is crazy. These acorns are like weapons. When we're out here on the deck, we hear them coming and we all like cover our heads. <laughs> but it does look, just looks so pretty. Good stuff. Is that good? At the game, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Oh, I was Hey guys well I wanted to show you today's makeup of the day and actually I'm sitting down here on the floor near my window because I figure it's just best to see the makeup in a natural light so normally when I do show you I'm on my vanity and I feel like it just looks like it's yellow so you can't really quite tell the shades but I wanted to show you what I use today and of course you guys know I've been a huge fan of the camp cosmetics um, eyeshadow and I got some more blush in this lovely lipstick that I have on today so I wanted to show you this look but I'm also going to link below Kristen Game did four eye looks with this palette and she put out this video this past week so I did actually follow her fourth look but I did just one little thing different with it um, but I wanted to show you exactly what I did alright so again this is the palette and what I did is I used these two shades and with a fluffy brush I um, just put this within my crease but I did it quite a few times because you guys know I do like a deeper crease so when you watch Kristen do it hers is more of a lighter version mine is a tad darker so again I use these two shades here and um, with a fluffy brush did these in the crease and then I used the green, this gorgeous, gorgeous green 
on the lid. And then I used a little bit of the, um, I don't know what you want to call it, <laughs> even, even Kristen didn't know what to call it, like a Merlot or a deep kind of a purple shade. Just a little bit right in here. And then I just use this, just like Kristen did, a little bit below the brow. But then I also added this shade here right in the tear duct area, just to brighten this up a little bit. So these are the eyeshadow colors that I used. Of course, the blush, which is called Delightful, which is funny because this is always, Kristen always says the word delightful. It's so delightful, <laughs> so it's perfect. And of course, I lipstick is called I Can't Even, which I have on right here. I absolutely, again, I can't tell you enough how much I love this. Um, Kristen, if you watch her video, she did mention that this is a limited edition, so she wasn't quite sure how many are left, so I'm gonna link it below, so please be sure to order this. You guys will love it. Also, I got a lip gloss with it. Um, we are going to be doing a video, Lauren and I, also on Kemp Cosmetics. We did receive some few goodies from them, so I wanted to share those with you guys as well. But I wanted you to see today's makeup look of the day. All right, I thought I'd chat with you guys a little bit while I straighten my hair. Sorry for the lighting. You know how bathrooms are. I just feel like the lighting in bathrooms is just never good. So anyway, I just got a text message from my friend Jody. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, doing my hair. She's like, you want to hang out this afternoon? And Jody and I used to. God, it's just been such a long time. But on Friday, she normally gets done with work I don't know, around noon. So um, we used to meet for lunch and have, you know, have a cocktail and go shopping and just have a fun girls afternoon. So when she just text messaged me, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's been so long. And actually, I was thinking about that this morning. And I'm like, gosh, we haven't done that in so long. And then lo and behold, she text messages me. Isn't that crazy? So anyway, we're going to meet at the mall. And actually, I got to return something anyway. So that will work out really good. And uh, have maybe some lunch. And uh, just have like a girls' afternoon. So I'm looking forward to that. So, you know, bring you guys along. It's like really kind of a, you know, gloomy day today. So I think the rain that we had is um, done, which is good. So, uh, oh, I got a nice little knot in my hair somehow. So, but it's still gloomy and it's like feels a little humid. I think I'm supposed to be like, maybe 60 something, low 60s I think today, but rainy, so, or dreary or gloomy. You can tell I can't talk and do something at the same time because I'm rambling here. But anyway, there's some new products that I've been using lately that I love. Um, you know, this time of year, it's just, you know, the time of year you gotta really moisturize. Not that you don't all year round, but I really, like to just be totally really moisturized and uh, using good soaps and stuff in the shower so you guys probably all know that Alta just started carrying soap and glory so I picked up the rich and famous body wash this stuff smells so good I love it and I've been loving my pumpkin latte from Bath and Body Works lotion so I've been lathering up with that lately so I love my scents. I love all my new stuff. Now, I'm really sad because the one product that I do like from Soap and Glory, it's called, called um, Fake Off, Flake Off, <laughs> and they're not carrying it. At least at my Ulta, they do not have it. So I'm a little bummed at that. So anyway, I might have to order that online. All right, well, I'm gonna hurry up and finish my hair real quick because my camera is actually, I've got all these things lined up that it's laying on top of and I need one of the products there. So I wanna say goodbye and I'll see you guys at lunch, wrap them all with Jody. All right, you know what? It's funny. I'm actually I'm driving to meet Jody, and I forgot to tell you guys I had the nicest. And I don't know if this is crooked in my camera or not. Hopefully, you're not looking at me like this way. I think maybe you are. Should I turn my head? <laughs> but anyway, I had the nicest conversation today on the phone with um, Colleen, Ms. Cavalier. 
she is so sweet you guys I mean what you see on her YouTube channel and her on the phone is just precious she is so sweet and we had such a fun conversation lots of laughs and it's just funny because if you are a youtuber it's like we all have the same funny things that happen and you know it's just it's just really fun to chat with other youtubers and um, I tell you we just feel so blessed we've met so many amazing women via YouTube and via our channel and even those of you that don't have a channel just for your for, through your comments and um, it's just really great so I just wanted to tell you I love Colleen Miss Cavalier so if you guys do not follow her you have to I'm gonna link her below so hi Colleen love you hi hi guys sorry I didn't film earlier today while we were out to lunch um, with Jody um, we actually ran into other people that we knew so we were chit-chatting the whole time and Anyway, before you know it, time was flying by and I was on my way home like, oh my gosh, I forgot to pull out my camera. So anyway, actually we are getting ready now to go out with our friends um, to dinner. I think we just might go have Mexican tonight. So um, they're going to pick us up here in a few. Archie wants to say hello today. Hi, Arch. Want to say hi, everybody? Oh my gosh, I know. I know. Come here. Come on. He wants to play because I wasn't home all day, huh, buddy? What? I know. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Hi, guys. Happy Saturday. We are packed up and ready to go for our road trip to see the OSU, Oklahoma State University, versus uh, West Virginia. University football game, so we have a little bit of a drive to go, but we have all of our stuff, coats, because it's going to be chilly tonight. I just got uh, on a flannel shirt here from H&M, just a black sweater, my necklace, leggings, and I've got Uggs, <laughs> so I stay nice and warm, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be a beautiful day out there today, and um, so we're going to have fun, so I hope that I can remember to bring the camera out to take you guys along so we'll see you uh in the car with all of our crazy friends <laughs> all right you guys we're on our way to the oklahoma state university football game versus west virginia we're taking a road trip and jody Hi. and kim Hi. and the quarterback for oklahoma state mason rudolph is kim's cousin Yay. go, go mason. 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 Woo okay there's our pilot <laughs>
morning. Happy Sunday. Well, we made it through yesterday. It was a lot of fun and Oklahoma State did win the game in overtime. So we left before the end of the game because we had a two and a half hour drive home. We got home about 1.30 in the morning, but I tell you what, there's nothing nicer than waking up to a gorgeous Sunday morning. Show you Archie out here. So pretty. What are you doing over there, Rue? It looks just so pretty today. It's gonna be actually 70, but right now it is 42. And I'm out here in my robe, but I'll give you a look how beautiful everything looks. Mums are in full bloom. This one needs a little watering, I think. A little baby pumpkin. I need to sweep off the front porch. So yeah, I got my coffee sitting there. I'm gonna sit here for a few minutes and just let Archie get a little fresh air. And uh, look at him. What are you doing, Archie? What are you doing? Why are you in the mulch? <laughs> I know a lot of you guys ask how the espresso K cups come. Not K cups, the espresso capsules. So, this is just an order that came in yesterday. So, they come in these really pretty boxes. And uh, things written, I think, like in Italian. But I think this one is like a caramel. And there's a, got like a vanilla. And I think uh, this is vanilla. I don't know which, which one is this one? This one might be the. I don't even know. Let me see. Which one is this one? Hazelnut. That's right. And then I got like a stronger, a couple stronger ones that my husband loves. It's supposed to be the new one. So I'll show you. How you dismantle these and put them in the holder. So you just open up the box and then here's how they come. And then I turn it so you can easily grab. And then here is the holder. And hold on. Slide it in like this. See, I just do that with three different um, flavors, and that's what you do. I'm on my way to Bed Bath & Beyond because I was ironing my shirt that I have on today. And I always, this is bad, I know, I always iron my shirts on my bed. and. The iron was too hot and it burned a hole in my gorgeous comforter and I'm so upset. I'm ironing. I mean, I'm going to have to sew it because I love my comforter. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go get a, um, a steamer. I've, I'm done. I'm done with the iron. So I want to go get a steamer. My husband was looking online. He found one he thought we'd like. So I'm going to go grab that and then get some groceries. I'm not sure what else, but I think I have a couple other stops I want to stop. So we'll see. You know, I was just wondering, oh, I just wanted to check to see, do you guys follow us on Snapchat? Make sure you do, it's K, the number K, I'm not the number K, oh my gosh, the letter K and then Forch, F-O-R-C-H. It's actually a Snapchat that I set up a long time ago, but basically we can use it as a two orchids one. So it's K-F-O-R-C-H, there it is. I Snapchatted when we were away yesterday at the game. So it's fun, so check us out. Yay. Well, I'm gonna show you guys how I do my stuffed peppers Italiano. It is so delicious. Now, these aren't traditional stuffed peppers because I do not add rice in mine. I just do not like rice in my stuffed peppers, but these are so good. So I'm gonna show you what I did. I've got lean ground beef, and uh, I've got a couple pounds, two pounds. Well, actually, this is almost close to three. I use some panko, or you can use seasoned breadcrumbs, or you can actually use a few days old Italian bread crumpled up. 
I use regatta cheese, I use eggs, and I use garlic. Of course, my garlic, fresh, or you can use this type of garlic right here. A little salt and pepper, and then I add some regatta cheese or Romano cheese. I just happen to have some in a shaker. You can use fresh, which I really love. So you mix all this together. In the meantime, I have over here two cans of crushed tomatoes. I've got garlic powder, onion powder, a little, just a little bit of salt and pepper, uh, Romano cheese, and oregano. In here, this is gonna be the sauce we're gonna pour over it. I already cut my peppers, which are back over here. I like to get pretty large peppers, and I like to cut them in half like this. I think they just, cook nicer in this and I, I just love them this way opposed to most people just cut the tops off and then fill them I prefer to do it this way so we're gonna go ahead and stuff these then pour the sauce on it and we'll sprinkle some Romano cheese on top and bake them at 350 for an hour and a half okay I poured the sauce over top and then I put some Romano cheese and here they are Looks so good. So I'm gonna put them in the oven for an hour and a half. All right, I wanted to show you guys, I got these pillow covers from Bed Bath & Beyond that really just brighten up this room and I love them. I apologize for the loud noise behind me, husband. This is, you know, Sunday and it's football. It's so loud in here, but anyway, let me show you. Aren't these pretty? These are just pillow covers that actually, these are the pillows right here. I'm sort of tired of them. You know, they're just blending in with the couch, doesn't add any color. But I bought these from Bed Bath & Beyond and just put this on top of the pillow. Look how nice it goes with our couch. I might go buy a few more. I love them. Huh, Archie, do you like them? Do you like them? Do you? <laughs> I know. <laughs> the finished product, I forgot to film it before we ate. Garlic mashed potatoes, and here was the delicious garlic bread. So good.